there once again, people, and welcome to yet another episode of Seeking Shamblers. So what are we doing this time? We're checking out Ledge by Glenn and Cheetah, um, also known as The Ledge. Anyway, this is the third level we've seen by Glenn and Cheetah. We've also seen Crossroad, and we've seen Evil Pool. But yeah, this is another level made by him. And like his other levels, it's a single player level. He promises deathmatch version soon, but it's fully single player. So, yeah, rather interesting to actually see another single player based level. And yeah, Glenn and Cheetah is definitely a per person that's, you know, been doing quick levels that we can actually play and do things with. So, needless to say, it'll definitely be nice because I can actually perhaps expand out his, um, the campaign a little bit more with this level, just like I could his other levels. Anyway, he also advertises the Evil Pool. That was his first level for Register Quake. He likes the layout better than the ledge. Um, yeah, Evil Pool, though, was rather a basic level, really. Unless there was just some squares and a really basic little area. It wasn't much, but Evil Pool, I believe, was, like, the start of August, I want to say? No, it was September 1st. So, yeah, this definitely happened to be around, like, September for Quake. So, yeah, we're in, like, mid-September, I assume before the Crossroad, which was more like September 20th or something. So, somewhere within that little period of time. Anyway, he advertises this level as a simple high-rise design with some teleportation action. Not too complex and not too many monsters to help speed things up. Requires a little exploring as there are keys to find before you can exit. Save your ammo and watch your step. Anyway, he also gives credit to Ramiro, Carmack, and all the wonderfully twisted minds of id Software. Stow, Remco Stoffer for his Quake Tricks file. Um, Cameron Newham for his Scream file. G Gregory Sanford's Duncan for his Zamp 1 file. So basically a bunch of test stuff that we've kind of already seen. We saw Q Tricks, we saw the Scream stuff. That was basically um, like Door H and all that. And Zamp 1 is, yeah, the one that really we haven't like gotten a good date on because it was like had a horrible timestamp. Anyway, his favorite bands are Big Drill Car, Doughboys, All Descendants, for providing the background music for his insomnia and late night level designing. So anyway, this is the ledge, I said, and it's a new level from scratch. It took only about three hours to construct, but three bug fixes, play tests, and entity placement stretched it out as usual to about a whole day's work. It's not complaining though, it was pretty fun. Anyway, he used QScript to build this level, which is an excellent editor for cranking out levels fast and features one of the most easily understood interfaces. He also um, dug into the map file with a plain text editor, which kind of makes sense for the time, I guess. But yeah, let's see here. Um, QScript. How many levels have actually been done for that one? I'm assuming Glenn and Cheetah's used his. Um, yeah, Glenn and Cheetah generally use QScript as his levels, but it seems like Barely anyone else ever used it. It was used in like Urkel's Domain and Death by the Dozen and outskirts the nuclear reactor, but that's about it. That That's every level actually that we've seen with it. So even with this, we're only looking at like seven levels that we've seen all together. So anyway, the only real bug he has found is that you can sometimes see parts of a na certain nasty creatures pop out from behind doors. He thinks it happens when there's not enough room for them. I guess that means he's basically saying, like, Shambler's arms are going to be peeking through doors. Oh, goody. Um, anyway, he has also a couple of switch-activated doors that open as soon as you get the key. Um, he hasn't completely got the hang of the key-to-door function yet. So, yeah, basically, the do um, keys don't actually open by doors. They open by you triggering them. Basically, you walk over a key, pick it up, and it'll open the door automatically, like, by a switch. So it's not really going to be unlocking it, but it's the same idea, basically. Anyway, as usual, he's the one who did Ogres and Wizards and Army Hell hacks for the uh, quick test um, a while back. He knows whoop-de-doo. Yeah, he's one of the earliest level designers. 
Also try the Evil Pool, my first level for Interest of Crank. We kind of saw that one. Um, blah, 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 tets, tets, tets. A lot of tets I don't really care about. Let's play this thing. Yeah. Let's see what exactly this ledge is about. We're going to be on a ledge. Hopefully nobody pushes us off the ledge. Don't want to go over the edge. Wait, no, it's the ledge. The ledge, the edge. They're, they kind of mean the same thing. That's weird. We have two words in the English dictionary that pretty much mean the same thing. Oh, God, there's someone trying to kill me. What a start. Just shoot this guy. Well, that's a start. Yeah, it's like this guy's just standing there to ambush me. Okay, let's, let's set up here so that we can't, like... Okay. This teleports me, but this is also a very great advantage as precision. Because now, he can't hit me. <laughs> okay, and also there's the silver key. In fact, this level's very, very small. Um, if you notice, there's only seven enemies. So, needless to say, it's not as big as one might make it sound. Uh, you know, it's, yeah, there's really only seven enemies on this map. We already found the silver key that quickly. But, before I pick it up, I want to get the double barrel shotgun. I assume this is a teleporter. Oh god, I fell into lava! Why did I do that? I mean, it is painful for a couple enemies. Just shoot him this way. I tell you, the worst part for me is falling to a lava. And the fact that you spawn with a guy shooting at you. Why am I not able to aim right today? Why am I not able to aim right today? I can't even say I'm rusty. Well, maybe I am because there hasn't been many levels with um. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to like. I was trying to shoot them from here to like make it almost more authentic instead of the exploiting each other. This. Are we? I don't know why I had to do this, but I wanted to, like, fight them kind of more legitimately in the pit area. And there we are. Both of them dead. Okay, so this is a teleporter number someone two? No. I just hear teleporters. I hear teleporters, therefore I think there is a teleporter. Obviously, that's not the case. There's only one of these that teleports you, actually. Main issue right now is that we don't have much in the way of ammo. So what I'm going to do is kill these guys with my axe. There we are. We only have three enemies left to kill, but I'm assuming they're going to be brutal. Oh, look, goodies. Is this a trap? This is probably a trap. Let's get some health and armor. Okay, what's the trap, people? We actually got some armor now and actually the ability to not die. That's always exciting. Okay, so we got a pentagram. Which we could pick up if we really wanted to. We got some health, which is always awesome. Health is awesome. Oh look, more health. In fact, it looks like I can actually kind of build myself back up. I could jump to that, see if I could. But I'm probably going to fall in the lava and die. So I'm going to be more cautious. And try and do this the best way I can. Evil enemies. I just saw an ogre leak like, through that door. Yeah, there's an ogre running back and forth through that door, people. So, that basically tells me five out of seven enemies are ogres. Um, I'm kind of waiting for that shambler. Wait, this teleport is just going to lead me here. This isn't the high rise. No, this is another one. Huh. I'm kind of confused which one's which one. Luckily, the pentagram kind of gives me a direction. Um, kind of directions. I heard a shambler! I heard a shambler, everybody! I don't know about you, but I heard a shambler. And also, I got a grenade launcher out of the deal. So here's like a locked door. It doesn't even tell me it needs a key or anything. It just locked. 
But we could get a bunch of grenade ammo, which will allow me to hopefully take down that ogre. And that way I can save my um, shotgun ammo for the shambler. And I'm not sure, maybe it's two shamblers? Watch as there's two shamblers. Then that pentagram would be very, very useful. Let's see here, what else is there? Well, other than that, it looks like we need to drop down to those doorway areas. Let's see here. Drop to this one. This is the wrong one. Of course it is. But you see, it doesn't even like notify me I need a key or anything. It just kind of like, you go to the right one and then you get the key from it. Let's see here. Which one is which one? You'd think there'd be an easy way to tell. Can I like see from here? No. Of course not. Of course it wouldn't be that easy as like looking from the corner and seeing into it. Can I from this, see from this side? Ah, okay. This one is indeed the one I want to go to. So let's trap here. Now we're uh, on the silver key platform. And, uh, yeah. See what I mean? I got a cozy in a blanket, but now it's getting too uncomfortable for me. And I need to be prepared to kill stuff. So we pick up this and something happens. What just happened? It looks like the area of the shambler's there. I'm guard, shambler. Oh god, there's two shamblers. Beast of blood power activated! It's a wrong teleporter, dear god. Who cares? We need to kill some shamblers. I'm just punch him from here. Stand right here and shoot this guy down. Waste one of the shamblers. Okay, so we got one of the shamblers already down. Now we just need to trade back and forth here. So you see, you can't really hit me from this place. So I'm like totally safe as long as I don't do something stupid. Which is good because I only have nine shells to my name. Hmm. This might actually come down to the wire, won't it? Mainly because I didn't know there was a grenade launcher. Let's hope I can kill him. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to get up there. Which means guessing which one of these is actually the teleporter. Which one of you will give me the answer to my mysteries? Or something. I feel like one of these should be teleporting me. Like, this is weird. Oh, God! I found it! Of course I just killed him! <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible timing. Okay, so let's see. You want to grab this. We want to go through a teleporter up here. Now we have a bit of a breather because nobody can hit us from up here. We can gather the grenade launcher. And with the grenade launcher, we can decimate everything below us. See, once you know the layout of the map, it gets a lot easier. It just was hard at first because you didn't know what you were doing. Like, look at this. Okay, we could swan the um, chambers, but that would be a horrible idea. I guard! I guard! I'm not doing too, too well against these guys, people. Okay, but we can get a bunch of health in here anyway. So there we are, we head back up. Set when we're ready to take on some shamblers. Probably shouldn't have taken that when I just am going to use the invulnerability. But uh here we are. Two ogres down. Two ogres down. It's like a tale of two kitties or something. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's see here. This is the pentagram that way, this is the pentagram that way. I really need to get some way of organization a bit better, like how exactly I know where it is once I take the, um, thing. So let's see, the door up there is to the left. Right. It's to the left, right. Yeah, and that's the one I want to get to. The other one's kind of really useless. This is the one I keep wanting to get to. 
So basically to the left of that door until the door opens and then I get totally confused again. Obviously. So let's see here. But at that point the shamblers will be dead. And that's basically the big important thing is that the shamblers are dead. So let's see. I believe it was this one that actually had the key. No. But this gives you free rockets. Let's see here. I think it's this one that's the one back up. Let's go back up here. And then I want to go to this one I believe. Or maybe this is just the same one I just did. I believe this is the other one. Okay, get ready because we're going about to face some shamblers. Let's see, I want to go right to the one below me. So you pick up this. You go here. Feasible power activated. And we go here. I got it, buddy. Where's the other shambler? Where's the other shambler? Die! Two! Kill! Just keep shooting like this. And there we are! Both are dead. Now I can pick up this. The gold key. And this probably opens the exit area, right? With the last remaining shambler. What am I saying? Shambler. Ogre! Ogre is not a shambler, people. It's a lot simpler than no a shambler be. And there we are, 7 out of 7 dead. Simple enough? Yeah, it really was just a matter of me kind of needed to learn the layout of the level and learning where exactly teleports kind of go. But yeah, really it's just 7 enemies around a little clustered area. You fight your way through and you make it out. Anyway, that seems to be the level. What says it? It said some message, but I couldn't really see it. I guess I'll have to tell you afterwards, um, r basically say on the wick guy what exactly that message was. But anyway, that's 7 out of 7, and the level goes to E1M1. Nothing too fancy. But yeah, really bare bones level, not really too, too much. Even with the two shamblers, it's like, because you have the pentagram, it's almost too easy. Especially because I can really, like, shoot down at the ogres. So yeah, really I wouldn't say this is a challenging mission. Not like Glenn and Cheetah's Evil Pool. Evil Pool was a bit more evil because it had, like, shamblers that appeared right after you popped out of a pool of water. And so, therefore, that got really, really painful really, really quick. Um, this one, on the other hand, not really the same danger, I feel. So, needless to say, I'd say this one isn't really as hard. I would say this one's probably a good episode one map because it's very, very quick. Like, it's a one-room map almost. It's made to be very quick. So, yeah, it probably is going to go somewhere in the episode one of my campaign and flesh that one out a bit more. But, yeah, it's another level to add, and another level definitely to have to make things a little bit expanded, I guess. So, with that in mind, that in mind, it's, like I said, not really the greatest levels at all. Um, I don't like short levels like this, and I also feel like, I said, outside of the Shamblers, which he had the pentagram to deal with them anyway, it really wasn't that hard. So, needless to say, thank you all for watching. It's been an adventure. Kind of pointless, I guess. And I shall see you all, well, next time.